All right, how's everybody doing here on this Saturday night? The Iceman, Jeffrey Rose, Iceman V2013 YouTube channel. And, you know, I've been on Facebook on and off all day long, and I've been seeing a lot of friends making remarks. Basically, you know, if, if, uh, if you talk anything about the Attitude Era in the world of professional wrestling, uh, nobody wants to hear it, or they, they hate on you and whatnot. And, you know, whatever. But, you know, I've been following wrestling for, for many, many years. And I remember in the old NWA days, you know, before they became WCW, uh, they were phenomenal. And then when it moved into the WCW days, um, you know, it was okay. And then they had their really, really slow spell. And um, it really wasn't until... Uh, they started Monday Nitro that WCW really started picking up again. And, you know, the evolution of the world of professional wrestling is much like, uh, look at Sting when he first came out. He had the blonde, short, spiked hair. He was like the beach guy. Uh, he used to scream out to the crowd. And then he left and he came back and he had a different look. He had a darker look. And then he left and came back, and he had that real deep crow look. So Sting changed throughout the years, much like the world of wrestling has. And if you go back into the old days of WWF, but you go back a little further, it was WWWF, the Worldwide Wrestling Federation, owned by Vince McMahon Sr. Uh, you know, when you watch those days... And then you saw when Vince Jr. took over, got rid of, you know, one of the W's in the name and called it WWF. And then we saw the 80s. We saw the Hulk Hogan era. And that's what pretty much the 80s were. It was the Hulk Hogan era. You know, there was there was a lot of big opponents. Uh, I, I'm talking about in size for Hulk Hogan throughout the 80s. And, you know, and then we got into the 90s and, and things changed. There was like maybe a little bit better wrestlers. I mean, we saw Brett the Hitman Hart. We saw Scott Hall as Razor Ramon. We saw uh, Kurt Henning as Mr. Perfect. We, you know, we seen Ricky Steamboat down the road. And it, it's just things. Things change. Things do change in the world of professional wrestling. And... People don't get it. They, put, they they just constantly put down WCW. And what they don't realize, if there was no WCW, there would have been no Attitude Era. Because the WWE had to do something desperate. So Vince decided to put himself on TV, much like what Eric Bischoff did in WCW. But Vince went to a whole other level. Vince became an in-ring character. Vince did it all. Um, and, and, and to be quite honest with you, if it wasn't for Vince going into the ring, you know, battling opponents, uh, being the character that he was, the attitude of error never would have happened. Vince started the feud with Stone Cold Steve Austin, which basically started the attitude era. So, you know, you can thank WCW for that, whether you want to or not, because if it weren't for them, there would have been no Attitude Era, and who knows where wrestling would be today. And, you know, you got to understand, wrestling changes much like, look at TV shows from the 50s, then the 60s, and then into the 70s, into the 80s, into the 90s, into the 2000s. And now, here at the present time, 2015, have you seen the changes? There have been so many, so many changes. Now all we see are reality shows, whereas 20 years ago, you never saw reality shows. You know, that's all there is. So the world of professional wrestling changes much like TV industry has changed. And... You know, we have the product that we have today, and a lot of people like to put the blame, and I don't want to bring this up again, but they do. They like to put the blame on somebody like John Cena for the PG era. It wouldn't matter because 
if John Cena never came to the WWE, I'll guarantee you the WWE still would have had a PG era because it's the evolution of professional wrestling. It just changes in stages throughout the years. And if you go back, like I said, go back to the 80s in the WWF and see how things have changed all the way up to the present time. John Cena wasn't around in the 80s. John Cena wasn't around in the 90s. I mean, and things still changed. It's just an evolution that's inevitable. And, you know, it was just sort of funny because I'm, I'm watching or, or reading the, the comments on uh, some of my friends that are posting on Facebook. And, you know, they said, well, I'm getting hate or I'm getting blocked or I get unfriended and whatnot. And this is how some people are. Uh, to me, you know, if you can't voice your opinion without having a friend get upset with you, then maybe they're really not your friend at all. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the world of professional wrestling is an ever-changing business. When TNA first started, they, didn't, they, they weren't even on TV. I mean, you'd have to watch them for $10 on a weekly basis to watch their shows. And eventually they emerged on the Fox Sports Net, which was on very late at night for an hour. And, uh, and TNA got better and better until finally they got a TV deal. And I'll tell you, in the middle 2000s, TNA probably had the best roster that they ever, ever had. But then as time went on, things changed. I mean, they brought in people that left WWE. Um, and then as early as 2013, the roster started slipping away. People started leaving. Whether it was money issues or they just were unhappy, they started leaving. So you could see from the beginning of TNA to their present day, the changes. They started off slowly. They got very, very, very good. And then they started to dwindle down once again. I think the product now is pretty good. But the point being is, it's not only the Attitude Era that people should grasp hold of. Yeah, the Attitude Era was a fun time, but that fun time is over. Time has moved on. It's much like how we move on, how we grow. We're little, uh, you know, we're out playing with our friends, you know, and then we get older and then we get a job and then we get older, we get married, then we get older and we get older and we get older and we retire. The world of professional wrestling is a changing evolution and it's always going to be that way. Do you think there'll ever be another Attitude Era? You never know. I don't think so, but that isn't the only era that was great in the world of professional wrestling. If you're a wrestling fan and you grew up in certain eras, you know, they grew on you. And if, and if they got better as time went on, that's, that's great. But they're always, you know, they're never going to stay great all the time. Nothing ever does. So anyway, I just wanted to put that video out there. I want to talk a little bit about the evolution of uh, wrestling and you know it just times change we change tv changes the world changes and guess what wrestling is no different they change just as well just like the faces the many faces of sting Everybody have yourself a great Saturday night. Giants and Jets are on preseason football tonight. Mets and Sox are on right now. We'll see you all next time. Only on the Jeffrey Rose Iceman V2013 YouTube channel. Peace out, everybody.